Welcome to Breville Institute. Now we are discussing about Kolkomoro's backward differential equation. In last class, we have learned forward differential equation and their derivations and their calculations, how they are applied in our <coughs> calculations. Now we are going to derive the backward differential equation. For that, I am considering two state. State is I, this is state I and state J. And uh, one more state, uh, an intermediary state, uh, K. So our, our equation is for, from ith state to jth state. So one more intermediary state is considered is a K. So I to K time is H and K to J the time is T. Time is to, so total time t plus h. Our total time is t plus h. We have considered intermediate state nearby i because it is a small interval of time. H is a small interval of time. We reached i to k and taken time t to reach to j. So in backward differential equation. <laughs> K is nearby I. Initial transition is happened nearby Ith state. In forward differential equation, it was like that. It's a Ith state and Jth state. Here was a K. So from here to T and here to H. We consider for forward differential equation is like that, but in backward differential equation, we consider K the state is here. This, what is the difference between forward and backward? Just a directional difference in time. Now it's a t plus a directional difference. It's a, this is a forward calculation. This is a backward calculation in time. So just a directional difference is like the ascending order or descending order. Like that. It is a forward calculation. This is a backward calculation. You just standing here, you will understand. If I am standing there, for me it is a backward. I am standing here, I can read t plus h. So, just a directional difference for forward and backward in times. So, how we are going to write p of i to j t plus h. i to j t plus h, we learned the chapman kolgomoro equation, k element of s we can write p of i to k h and p of k to j to t. This is our chapman kolgomorov equation we already learned in initial class, first class itself. So, backward it is calculating backward direction in time. We return the equation initially transition is happened. So, p of i k and h and p k j into t. Now we are going to split this equation. Previously it was k element of s going to split k not equal to i and k equal to i. So k element of s is split into k not equal to i and k equal to i. Then our equation we become K not equal to i. P of i k h p of k j t. Here k not equal to i. So we have we have to consider one more term k equal to i. P of is staying the same state plus p of j into time t. So, we considered, <coughs> we splitted k element of s to k not equal to i and k equal to i. Here it is a k equal to i. So, <coughs> we initially we are in the state of i, just directly moved to state j. So, we have, we have to substitute this two equation. This two value we already learned in previous class. What is the value? 
p of i k p of i k time match c equal to we know that h into mu i k plus y k we this is markov assumption 2 markov assumption 2 we learned that if the transition is a small time interval you write here it is a mu i k we have to multiply this h into time for getting <coughs> probability from i to k it is a small interval of time we have to multiply time to transition <coughs> rate so transition rate is multiplied with the time this is markov assumption 2 we already learned assumption 2 assumption 2 and p of next we know p of i i h we already studied the, this p of i i h in generator matrix we can write 1 plus h into mu i i plus o h this is the our two substitution p of i k h small interval of time we can write h into mu i k this we learned in markov assumption 2 and p of i i h we can write 1 plus h into mu i i plus o h this <coughs> mu i i plus o h we already studied that uh, it is a minus of sigma i j what are the transition is come out from the ith state that we can say the mu i i say negative of sigma mu i j so we are not substituting this equation here we already know so this equation so we can write um, we have to substitute this two equation to our old equation we are going to this is equation number two this is three not down the equation not down in your books this all this is a second equation this one is a first equation we are substituting these two equations in here then we will get e of i j t plus h is equal to k not equal to i h into mu i k P of k j into t plus 1 plus h into mu i i into P of i j. This is our equation number 5. What happened? We have substituted this line is substituted here this one is substituted here and this equation is substituted here so both equation <coughs> this one is substituted here and this is substituted here both equation is substituted in our equation <coughs> in <coughs> equation number two then we received p of i j t plus h is equal to sigma k not equal to i h into mu i k p of k j t plus 1 plus h into mu i i p i j t now we are going to derive the our backward differential equation our <coughs> calculation is over just a derivation We're going to derive T plus h is equal to sigma k not equal to i h into mu i k p of k j t plus p of i j t plus h into mu of i i p of i j t. This is our equation. We have multiplied P of ij t to 1 
and here we multiplied to s1 and here so we multiplied p of ijt it's a p of ijt plus h into mu i i p of ijt and we taking out plus oh is there plus oh here also plus oh is there plus oh so we are taking out this equation to here so p of ijt is taking out here then what will happen p of ij t plus h minus p of ijt equal to a not equal to i h into h mu i k p of k j t plus h mu i i p of i j plus o h this is our equation p of i j we taken out to left hand side so p of i j t plus h minus p of i j t is equal to sigma k not equal to i this one is k equal to i now we are going to divide h all the variables here we divided h here we divided h here we divided h we divided h that is divided h so here we can cut the h h so what happened our equation is like that so i am going to remove we already cut the h so i can remove this h and here only h now giving to limit limit h tends to 0 plus so i am giving limit to this term p of i j t plus h minus p of i j t divided by h given limit so i have to <coughs> given limit then what happen this term is become 0 limit of h divided by h is become 0 then this term what i can write this term is become d by dt of p of ijt say differential equation calculation of differential equation first order differential equation we will get uh, after derivation we will get like that we will convert it to d by dt of p of ijt we already learned in differential calculation so d by dt of p of ijt so this is equal to k not equal to i p of mu of i k p of k j t plus mu of i i i j t this is our backward differential equation now we already split k element of s how we split k element of s is split to k not equal to i and k equal to i now going to term reverse so this term is already included if i give k element of s this term already included here so i can write d by dt of p of ijt equal to now k element of s so include all subsets mu i k p of k j p this is our backward differential equation so here it is split to k element of s equal to k not equal to i and k equal to i now we are <coughs> writing k element of s so we no need to split two terms we need only one one term is sufficient so k element of s is equal to mu i k e k j this is our backward differential equation just to check the derivation how we reached here uh, in our exam they will ask the derivation
now considering some uh, one or two problems in our famous equations are there hsd model l sickness d model considering one problems HSD in hsd model here This is a transition rate from H to S sigma, S to S rho and mu, it is a mu. First problem, d by dt of, in backward differential equation, P of H, H, T. We have to find out d by dt of P of H, H, T. So, initially start from H and continue in the same state. So, we have to write in backward differential equation, backward calculation. So, what are the possibilities are there here? H is continuing in the H. H is continuing the state of H only. So, initially we start from H. We continued in H. We continued again in H. So, what is we can write? Mu of H, H to P of H, H at a time. This is our first equation we start from h to h so it is a initially mu i k so instead of i k it is h h mu h h and finally continue in the same state so of h h t so of k j we return h h t plus one more option here h initially start from h we reach it s then we reach it again back to h so, start from H, we reached S. In small time interval, we reach S. Again, we sick state to recovered and we reached again to healthy state. So, how we can write it is a H S. Same like H to S, H S and probability of S to H. So, time P. One more possibilities are there. Initially start from H, I just writing the possibility, it is not possible. We are coming to death state and going back to H state. So, this possibility we no need to consider because once it is reaching to death state, it will not come back. So, we will consider this two possibilities only. So, mu of HH, mu of HH, HS and mu of SH. What is the value of mu of hh and mu of hs? Mu of hs we know that h to s, h to s is sigma. We know this value, but we don't know mu of hh. We know how to write the generator matrix. For this purpose, I just write in generator matrix hsd, hsd. H to S, H to S is sigma and uh, it is a mu, H to D, it is a mu and S to H, here it will come rho and S to D, it will come mu, then 0, 0, 0. Here H to H, it is a minus, minus sum of sigma plus mu. We know what are the <coughs> initially h we are come out from what are the states that is coming up out from the h so sigma and mu so sigma plus mu here it is like that same rho plus mu this is our generator matrix so we substitute mu hh mu hh we know that minus of sigma mu so d by dt of p of hht equal to minus of sigma plus mu is substitute mu hh is equal to minus sigma plus mu this we learned from generator matrix how to write this generator matrix like that 
and P of H H T plus mu of H S mu H to S is sigma P of S H T. So this is our equation. This we have to write here plus plus sigma mu P of S H into T. So this is a backward differential equation of d by dt of p of hht. Now we are going to change now we are going to find out hs hst how to write hst what are the possibilities are there probability initially start from h healthy state and at the time t we reached in a sixth state so first possibility we are starting from h we continuing in h then we moved it to s initially start from h we continue in h and then moved it to s or we can write it is a mu of h h probability of h to s the time t so initially start from h and <coughs> transition rate is happened in here initially start from h little bit of time is continued in the same state then is moved to sixth state so after some time we moved it to sixth state so mu of hh h, p of hs another one possibility we are initially start from h we reached s then is continuing in s Initially start from H, we reached in S. In a small time interval, we reached in 6 state, continue in the same state. Or we can write S plus mu of H to S, P of S, S into T. This is the equation. One more possibilities are there. Initially at H, we coming to that state and reaching to S. H d to s this possibility is not considering because once in a death state it's absorbing state and there is no <coughs> reverse transition to s so this one we are not considering so we have two possibilities mu of hh into p of hs mu of hs into pssd so our equation become d by dt of p of hst is equal to mu hh what are the values mu hh we know that mu hh minus minus of sigma plus mu p of hst plus mu hs hts hts is sigma so sigma p of ss so this is our backward differential equation of p of hst so if you want to know more about these equations and um, more clarification kindly visit www.bravelinstitute.com and send me mail also bravelinstitute at the red gmail.com also subscribe my channel if you like my videos please put like and uh, continue the thanks for continuing watching my videos thank you